Ren from Hallowed Be Thy Game. And today I want to give you a game room in progress tour. That's right, this is the first time I've had a game room in about five and a half years. And I was able to put my YouTube studio in here. But anyways, I just kind of want to show you what I got going on and just kind of take you on a tour of some of my favorite things in my collection. Let's check it out. Okay, just starting off from the top here, I was finally able to get my Triforce clock out, but um, there's my uh, Joker figure. I actually had to kind of fasten him to the corner there. I'm not that brave to sit him there uh, unfastened, but yeah, we also got my Black Frost Nendroid finally out of the box, and um, my Jack Frost plushie, and we got Xenos Von Galvis. I think I'm saying that right from Final Fantasy XIV. I, I love that game, obviously and um yeah so right here we have some of my odds and ends collector's editions uh last story for the wii God, i really hope we can see that ported someday and let it never be said i don't own 360 games <laughs> um Muv love got a special edition from japan so uh what few limited run games collector's edition i have and then if, obviously play asia i gotta love them uh, big fan of their collector's editions but yeah there's a playstation ease one and two collector's edition i love that it's got some little figures in there i might have to get that out sometime but also i'm a big fan of ease memories of cell set um i was really happy to see my smt4 and persona q2 collector's edition survived and really love arno surge and my place uh, persona 4 dancing vita okay here down on the next shelf we have my legend of zelda breath of the wild collector's edition i love that i still really love the smt5 collector's edition i actually had that digitally i don't hardly ever buy games twice for the record <laughs> but that's not something i do I, and i really hate when i have done it so but there's ishtola that's uh, another final fantasy 14 characters best girl in the game but uh, yeah this shelf is kind of unique i've expressed my distaste for blizzard in the past but uh, my brother uh, who's gone on he, we after he passed we actually had his figure made and so um i have a couple from a blizzcon uh pre-order they had but the figure in the middle was actually his character but i am a massive fan of vampire hunter d i love it so much i hope we haven't seen the last of uh, the animated movies for it but there's just the manga on the l left and the actual book series out of japan that's been translated um to english but uh my friend for, for christmas got me the Zelda manga set, uh, really cool. I love that thing, it's gorgeous. But this here is something pretty unique. This is a, an old school Nintendo toy chest and I am just like crazy for the artwork. I'm such a sucker for retro. Um, I've always you know, been a, a Zelda fan over Mario, but you know who doesn't love Mario? Uh, my wife loves all things Mario, so she really likes this too. But has a little bit of water damage on the top and uh, a few dings in it, but I just love this classic art style for Zelda and Mario. I just, this is honestly one of my favorite things in my entire collection. It's just um, so cool and cute. So, but yeah, that's pretty much all the different, it kind of, you know, swaps between Mario and Zelda throughout. Here we have my uh, figure collection. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this shelf. It was kind of already fastened to the wall, so. I haven't been able to get all my figures out yet because uh, <laughs> when I get nervous, I get shaky hands and I've honestly very rarely put figures together because if I get them, they usually just go straight in storage. I know that's weird, but you know, we have Sumika from Love Love here, best girl, sorry guys. But um, yeah, this is actually the figure that's box was decimated by the United States Postal Service. I won't get into that. That's a very sore, sore subject for me. But yeah, and then we have the the only Soul Series figures I own. I, I wish they had kind of had more options. That I feel like Souls figures either are you know two feet tall and cost a thousand dollars, or you know I'm okay without them. But yeah, what you saw there was my Final Fantasy XIV Collector's Edition. I just kind of have some odds and ends out here. I still need to get my Tales of Arise figure out. Um, as of the making of this video, I had had my collection out for about three days, and that was three days of moving as well. So, 
Yeah, we have my Junpei Persona 3 hat that Day Nick gave me. I treasure that thing. I love it so much. But yeah, we got Xenoblade Chronicles X Collector's Edition for the Wii U. Wii U had some really cool Collector's Edition. And again, sadly, more Play Arts figures of Cloud and Tifa um, that I just haven't had a chance to get out and display yet. But, uh, you know, I love Tokyo Mirage Sessions and Radiant Historia. Gosh, I love that so much. Some of the prices of these 3DS collector's editions have gotten stupid price right now. But yeah, Ionita, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite characters from Double Survivor 2. And this is kind of what I'm not sure what to do with this shelving unit here. Right now, I've just kind of got a hodgepodge of classic consoles and figures up. That's that's a mech from Mob Love, but we have <laughs> a box for my PS TV and. A Godzilla figure. Now, I don't know what to do with vinyls. I only have a couple, but I am getting a few more that are pre-ordered, and I don't know how I'm going to display them. I know some people like can put them in frames on the shelf, but yeah, there's my DS case um, and also two empty Switch cases. But yeah, here's just my handhelds, my 3DS, Game Boy Advance SP. Gosh, I I love that thing so much. I tried playing it the other day and I forgot how small it was. Oh my gosh, like it. <laughs> it's been a while since I've held um, such a small handheld, to be honest. I'm so used to the Satisfy Grips or even the PS Vita. It's so much easier to hold than these, but gosh, I love them so much. I kind of hope we haven't seen the last of clamshells, you know? But uh, this is actually my brother's <laughs> Game Boy Color. And you can see where our dog got a hold of the. Um, the top rubber mat of it and just chewed it pretty good. <laughs> I uh, I thought about replacing it, but I was like, oh heck, I, I missed that dog too. So, and then this is my Game Boy Advance. Um, love them to death. Um, I, I it was pretty boring with colors. My brothers would always get the really cool color variants, but I always wanted like the blacks, the silvers. Kind of wish I'd gotten that more into the clear and stuff. Yeah, here we got the tried and true nintendo 3ds gotta love it it's so good okay this is actually my youtube studio and i know for uh fans of cleanliness and tidiness it's probably awful to look at and i know i'm going to pick up zip ties and kind of clean up these cables but this is actually the first time i've ever been able to have four systems hooked up and ready to go at the same time so i got obviously my monitor there there's my capture card you have the nintendo switch uh, i got the ps5 I was able actually to bust out the um, the Wii U. I'm so hyped to be able to hopefully capture some Xenoblade Chronicles X footage. And the PS TV, because God, I love the Vito. I mean, good Lord. And I actually have a really cheap uh, HDMI splitter there. Uh, and that's to kind of be able to record with it. But I can cover that in a future video if anybody has questions of how you can capture footage on a Vita a TV. But yeah, and then I got my headset hooked up there. I'd actually had them kind of stored away for a while because I'm pretty destructive. But here we have on my game wall, I have some really awesome art that was given to me by my friend Ionize. And uh, yeah, obviously I had to put up Zelda and Final Fantasy VII cities. They were just so cool. But I actually really love collecting Zelda mugs. I know that's weird, but it's just something I've always loved. And for a while there, every Christmas I was given one. And here is my favorite. It's actually a thermos, old school, Zelda 2, and uh, yeah, Super Mario 2. You know, two of the most controversial entries. But hey, man, now I can listen to the anger of people at work uh, with my handy thermos. But yeah, here's a few of the amiibos I have. Um, now this... Uh, diorama here was actually sent to me by accident i had ordered a tactics one for my friend and they sent me the wrong one they just let me keep it i thought that was really cool though that they were able to fix that on etsy but and then this is a little music box that plays the song of storms i love it here are some of my smaller collections the wii u and a really cheap controller i found through Wario64, probably the most useful Twitter account out there. But then, yeah, the few Wii games I got, you know, Pandora's Tower, Sharon the Wanderer, and the only Famicom I got, actually, um, yeah, there's my, I actually have two Zelda Link to the Past. Uh, one was gifted to me, and uh, the other one's in kind of rough shape, so 
But yeah, here are the very few Nintendo and games I still have. I love this system so much, but over the years, you know, we just had a lot going on with moving and stuff like that, and I actually had to liquidate most of my collection a, a while back, but that's a story for another day. We got my my few remaining 64 games. The only games of note I have would be like, you know, both Zelda, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and Donkey Kong, and then also, um, I think I have a, a Golden Eye. But yeah, now in those two unmarked Sega cases, you have uh, Vector Man and I think the Pac Adventures of Pac-Man. But here's a few of my anime collections. This is kind of the things I <laughs> I loved growing up. I, I haven't been into anime, like newer anime, for quite some time. But here's some of my all-time favorites, like Blue Gender, Vampire Hunter D, Cowboy Bebop, Gundam Wing, and then obviously Trigun. God, freaking love it. And then here's a few of the VHSs I've been able to keep throughout the years. I got some Godzilla, uh, King of the Monsters, and Gamera. That's actually all three of the Gamera trilogy. And God, that's some of the best kaiju movies ever made. Now, if you're wondering why I have two season ones of Dragon Ball Z, one was actually my brother's, and he didn't want to take it with him when he um, moved out a while ago, so he gave it to me. But yep, here we have my Nintendo Switch collection, which is by far and away become my most collected for system i'm not in any by any means an absurdly high collector i i mean some people have some wild collections out there but i think i've actually broke a hundred now barely but yeah um uh and i know these are not in alphabetical order i'm serious i got things out of the box and i was like oh man i need to do my video for this week so it's a game room in progress video, so here's just kind of what I got going on. And here at the end, you see Eternal Radiance. That is a game I picked up from my One Print Games, I think. I don't know. I never ordered from one before, but obviously Blaster Master and Collage Displays. And here is my beloved Nintendo 3DS games. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I don't have them all right here. I do have some of my collector's editions kind of propped up. Soul, Soul Hackers and Radiant Historia, but this is, this is everything I got. Um... Like I said, I don't have a ton, but what I have, I love with all my heart. And uh, obviously, Chrono Trigger for the DS, I think it's the best port, one of the best ports ever made. And then my beloved King's Quest VI. My father gave me that, and you know, if I could only keep one video game out of my entire collection, I would probably keep that, surprisingly enough, just because it really meant so much to me when my dad bought that to me and here I am still trying to <laughs> straighten the shelf. And here is my little Xenoblade and Chrono Trigger <laughs> hat. Um, but yeah, the few unboxed Amiibos I have. And then obviously Cosmos, God. Can we please have a Xeno Saga port to modern systems? But And then here's my PS4 games. Obviously I'm big into the Souls games. And then my PS Vita collection, my few boxes. Obviously, I have Arno Surge on the other shelf along with Memories of Celsetta just because they were kind of different sizes and I wanted to keep them separate. But I want to collect so much more for the Vita, but man, it's just out of my price range now. I just, I, it's so hard to justify, but I'm keeping an eye out for deals. There's still a few I want to get, like Gravity Rush and a few others, but. Yeah, obviously my beloved PS2 games that have survived over the years. I, I want to re-bolster my PS2 collection and PS1. I love them so much, but um, yeah, I just have only really kept the ones that meant the most to me, like Xenogears, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. I, I love these games so much. I wonder if we'll ever get another Twisted Metal entry. And then I think that one that is a different color is Jet Moto, I think. But yeah, and then my Persona 5 manga. I'm kind of leaving this bottom shelf to fill out some more manga slots, and I am a big Lovecraftian fan, so I got a little book of collection there. All right, and I just want to thank you all so much for kind of joining me on this Game Room in Progress tour. I'm planning on putting up a lot more signage and such like that, but I'm trying to find the fine line between having a cluttered, like, uh, claustrophobic room and just being able to show off the games and series that I love. So if you have any suggestions or ideas, please feel free to let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this here with me today. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and I will see you all next time.